Greetings YouTube, when did oceans form on Earth? What evidence is preserved in the rock record? Most of us teach Earth science using simple or sophisticated models and imagery that demonstrate to students that the Earth is essentially a blue marble whose surface is dominated by oceans. This vision of a blue Earth has even been espoused by popular science writers such as the non-fiction work Pale Blue Dot by the late Carl Sagan. For many it would be difficult to envision an Earth without its blue blanket of oceans. However this is precisely what the early stages of our planet were like. An ocean-free Earth existed, perhaps for several hundred million years as a consequence of extremely high surface temperatures following planetary accretion. The formation of oceans on Earth represents no less than a global-scale cooling of Earth's surface to temperatures at which water is stable as a liquid phase. That such a profound transition occurred from the highly energetic conditions of the newly accreted Earth whose surface was dominated by meteorite impacts and transient magma oceans to cooler conditions capable of supporting liquid water and eventually life is not in question. However, the timing of this transition, which has implications for when surface conditions necessary for the development were established, is poorly known. Part of the uncertainty of the timing of this transition is due to the fragmentary nature of the rock record for the first 500 million years of Earth history. Simply put, not much is preserved in the rock record for this time. It is the not much part of the rock record that hold the clues however. The most promising information has come in two forms, one, preserved sediments up to 3,800 million years old, and, two, oxygen isotope studies of detrital zircons up to 4,400 million years old. So what does the rock record tell us? The rock record, isoabith the oldest known rocks on Earth, are almost exactly 4 billion years old, and are comprised of metamorphosed and deformed granitoids from northwestern Canada collectively called the Acastan Ice. Direct radiometric dating using the UPB method on zircons has demonstrated that these rocks crystallized 4,030 million years ago. However, these oldest rocks do not record information on surface conditions at the time of their formation. The oldest direct evidence for the presence of surface waters are slightly younger CA 3,800 million years old sedimentary rocks called banded iron formation BIF, that are exposed in southwest Greenland at a location called Isua. The very existence of the Isua BIF requires the presence of stable surface water, at least locally for the chemical deposition of the sedimentary components at California 3800 ma. These rocks were deposited in a somewhat analogous way to how limestones or chorts are deposited directly from seawater in modern marine environments. The mineral record, detrital zircons, the oldest known earth materials, are actually not rocks. Sand grains comprised of the mineral zircon, ZrCO4, have been discovered that are almost 400 million years older than the oldest rocks in the rock record. In the Jack Hills of Western Australia detrital igneous zircons with UPB crystallization ages as old as 4,400 million years occur in Archean clastic sediments deposited at 3,000 ma. Zircon is a very useful mineral that is mechanically resistant to erosion, chemically resistant to fluids, and can be dated with the UPB method owing to the ubiquitous presence of trace amounts of radioactive U and TH that are incorporated in most zircons at the time of crystallization. The very existence of these ancient zircons demonstrates that igneous rock, for example crust, was present starting at California 4400 ma. But the evidence of oceans preserved in these grains comes in a different form. Oxygen isotopes in geologic materials are affected by temperatures present during the formation and alteration of rocks and minerals. In basic terms the oxygen isotope ratio the ratio of 18O to 16O, usually expressed in a notation called delta, or 18O, and reported relative to a standard material, of minerals from the mantle varies little due to the high temperatures in the mantle, and is usually around a value of 5.5 per mil or parts per thousand relative to a reference material. In contrast the 18O composition of surface materials, for example, minerals and rocks, varies much more widely, and can range from values similar to mantle minerals if unaltered, for example 5 to 6, up to values of 18 O equals 30 due to low temperature reactions of minerals with fluids, such as surface waters like oceans. 
In simple terms mantle materials have low ATNO values, while sediments and other low T altered materials have high ATNO values.